Hey guys, this is uh, my first official video, my second overall video. As promised, it's going to be um, on Rachel Maddow and her show. So if you saw the first video, you can check that out and um, you'll know what I'm talking about here, but it's going to be pretty much self-explanatory. Sorry I have to uh, record this off of my computer with a camcorder. It's pretty low rent to do this, but I'm not exactly sure how to uh, how to embed this into my own video. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that yet. I was pretty excited to get this video out. So let me just press play and uh, let you guys listen. And then I'm going to have a few words to say about it afterwards. We begin tonight with a question. What if you had a gun that was entirely made of plastic? Where all the components of the gun were high strength enough so the gun would function as a gun, but none of it was metal, so it wouldn't be detected by metal detectors. That means everywhere that is protected by metal detectors, from the Capitol building, to an airport, to an event to see the president, you'd be able to get your gun in there scot-free. You could walk right through a metal detector with your gun and nobody would know you had that gun. Should it be legal to carry an all-plastic gun? These things can be manufactured. Glock, the company that made the gun that was used in the Arizona shooting this weekend, Glock announced back in the 1980s that they had perfected manufacturing techniques that would allow them to do this. Should an undetectable gun like that be legal to buy in the United States? No, that should not be legal. At least that was the decision that our country made when the issue came up. Congress voted on whether plastic guns should be illegal to sell in this country back in 1988. The measure... There it is, guys. Check it out. I know you're jealous. Yep, it's an all-plastic gun. I got one. I know a lot of you out there who know about guns. Did a little dry fire for you. Who know about guns are going to say, oh, what are you talking about? There are no plastic guns. That's not even possible. Well, uh, it is. And I have one. You just saw it. Obviously, I'm joking. It's a Nerf gun. And, uh... <laughs> that's, uh... That's what we have to deal with, guys. Especially after the Arizona shooting. We have to deal with, uh... The Rachel Maddow. And others like her. This lady right here. Yep, that's her. And this guy's pretty funny. And hopefully he'll, he'll give me the permission to to post this video up. I emailed him already and if you see it, it's because I got permission. Um, what do I say about this? This is this is frustrating. Um, this, this, that's an outright lie. Glock never perfected a uh, plastic gun. They, you know, I've done my research. I know about the company for a long time. I, you know, I was pretty certain that this was a lie, but nonetheless, I did some research. Let me get my mouse back. Um, I did my research and can find nothing that says that Glock ever tried to make a plastic gun. Um, and I even called the company, and they said they had never heard that either. So this is more hysteria. But I have a question about this. She talks about how you can get your gun in scot-free, her words. Uh, to any event, you can get it through the airport. Well, how about bullets? Are bullets going to be plastic, or how, does, how is that going to work exactly? That's You're still going to have to have metal in that gun. Even Let's say you can make a gun that was all plastic, and you know, you also you know, rode in on your unicorn, and you get into whichever event it is, and now you're going to shoot somebody. Uh, hopefully you won't do that. Hopefully you're not a bad person, but just for uh, for an example, what are you going to shoot them with? You know, what, what are the bullets going to be made out of? They're, they have to be made out of metal. Um, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. But this is what the left gets out there because they know that they're talking to an audience that perhaps doesn't know anything about guns. I know that every liberal that I know 
knows nothing about guns because they hate guns. And so they're not going to look into this. I've discussed this with a number of people and they defend Rachel Maddow. Um, even though she's just lying about things. And the reason I got my mouse back was because she has a lot more to say. Um, the next thing she's going to talk about is, well, maybe I won't play it. It's just going to waste time and I'm already 5 minutes and 22 seconds in. But she talks about KTW bullets and, well, you know what, I will play it because it's important to get her words on this. And I'll try to fast Pass forward. the House by a vote of 413 uh, to blah, 4. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Plastic guns. Um, if you are of the same age as uh, Jared Lochner, the suspect in this weekend shootings, if you're in your early 20s, this may be a phrase you haven't even heard. But in the 80s and in the 90s, cop killer bullets got a lot of attention and got banned. Bullets designed to penetrate body armor were banned in 1986. That's exactly what I wanted. In the Senate Those words only. Cop killer bullets. That's, uh, it's really inflammatory, and it sounds really bad. And she says, specifically designed to penetrate body armor, I believe those were her words right now. Um, that's wrong. That's another lie. And either she's willfully lying, or she just doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, either way, it's bad. The KTW bullet was not designed to penetrate body armor. That's not what its design was meant to do. It was designed by um, two law enforcement officers and a coroner in Ohio. And they designed the bullets for law enforcement. They designed the bullets in order for law enforcement who had uh, 38 caliber pistols at the time to be able to go through windshields and car doors and things of that nature. Um, which, if you know anything about a gun, uh, 38 caliber is pretty an anemic and it's not going to get through things like that. At least not very easily. And um, that's why they were designed. They were not designed to kill cops. They were not designed to penetrate body armor. Um, most cops that I know, and I know a lot, I know well over 30, 40 cops. My brother-in-law is a cop. Um, I have very close friends who are police officers. I um, I practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and you know a lot of cops practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well. And I have a lot of friends who are cops, and they and we're very very close. And each one of them that I've spoken to, I haven't spoken to all of them about guns, but each one of them that I've spoken to has told me you know they support the NRA. They they support a good responsible citizen with no criminal background having a gun. They have no problem with it. The NRA has historically been very pro-police. Um, so, and, and historically the left has been very anti-police. Uh, the left has, um, has always sided with the criminal rather than the police. And uh, suddenly they are the champions for police officers. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to get this out there and dismiss a lot of these lies. Um, I'm running out of time and I might do a part two to expose her and her, not lies, but her, her lack of information, her lack of common sense when she talks about um, IDing bullets, uh, putting, putting serial numbers on bullet cases and uh, putting, putting uh, numbers with lasers on, on the end of bullets themselves. I think she might talk about it in this video, but I'll make a part two. Just wanted to get this out there and, uh, you know, hopefully people on the left will see this video and see this woman for what she is. She is not a journalist. She is, um, she is a person who has an agenda and she wants to make sure that we don't have guns. Alright guys, later.